Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to be doing a little cage cleaning, but it wouldn't be a video unless we got to see Izanami. Snake a snake. Come here, show me your face. Just show me your face. Yeah, she is super quick. She saw it opening and she was like, I'm going for it. <laughs> I love this animal. She's, whoa, what'd you do there? She is such a freaking cutie. Ain't you right? See, I'm just such a cutie. You see? You see? Mm. On other news, Theo, we actually had to give a course of antibiotics. God, all the glass needs to be cleaned in here. So Theo, he was given a course of antibiotics. Um, he had what was likely a respiratory infection. And he seems to be better now. He still hasn't eaten since basically the antibiotics were administered. Oh, God, he's so wrinkly, you need to eat, bud. You need some food. How's everyone's day going? I hope it's going great. Um, like I told you guys, I do have a cage cleaning video for you. Um, so yeah, let's bring the enclosure in right now. So, once again, this is Soba's enclosure. You guys have seen me set this up before on Instagram. Um, but today I'm gonna be doing it for YouTube and give you guys a little bit better information because that was like one of the very first YouTube videos we ever recorded so without further ado let's get into it all right guys so first things first what we have to do is find her now sounds easy but sometimes she's a big pain she's always hiding in one of these hides that i have no way of getting into all right guys, once again, this is my rat snake Soba's enclosure. I wanted to upgrade her to a 20, but I feel like she's still too small. Um, so what I am doing is I'm using some Cypress Smodge and maybe some cocoa chips. I don't know. She doesn't need high humidity or anything like that. She's a Western rat snake, so they like preferably well, well, she's supposedly a Western rat snake. She was sold to me as a Western. But um, yeah. 
don't really know, won't really know until later on. So she's not in here. I should mention I'm actually adding more decorations to this. She's a bitey little sucker though. So I can't really see where her head is. But there she is. I'll get some close ups for her after um, I record the video. Which it is feeding day for her, so hopefully she'll still eat. Yeah, she's a beautiful, beautiful little rat snake. She's still tiny. I mean, she's about as long as the 10 gallon is. But I still think she is too small for a 20. There she is. We'll put her up here where she'll get a little bit of heat. Uh, residual heat from the enclosure. Just going up through. So she'll stay nice and warm. As you guys know, we like to use a thing called wipeout. And instead of doing the wipeout, I got the Fluker Super Scrub this time. I'm going to see how this goes. I really do like the wipeout stuff. Nice and easy. Alright guys, so it says to rinse well with water. Well, what I'm going to do right off the bat is actually wipe it down first. Because the paper towel should grab any of that gunk and I can get into these little crevices and stuff just a, a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do a lot of water. I'm going to go dump it. Alrighty. And that's about that. Um, I didn't want to make sure I got it as dry as Possible because she is a low humidity snake um, so I don't want this to be all sorts of wet and high humidity giving her RI stuff like that
yeah, let's see what it looks like up on top with some light on it. And here it is, guys. I'm gonna brush off these sides real quick. Really clean overall look to it all. She got like a nice climbing spot back there now. Yeah, I think it looks overall pretty nice. I think she's gonna like that substrate a lot. 64% humidity. I'm gonna have to let that sit for a while uh, with the lid on it. But while we're doing that, we can go ahead and take a look at Soba. And here is Soba. Goodness, she's quick. So I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to get any good footage of her. Just because overall she is so fast. And really flighty. So I don't know what kind of footage I'm gonna be able to get of her. If I'm even getting anything of her. She's normally a very bitey. It won't focus. Yeah, I just gotta wait for that humidity to drop a little bit. She did not want to cooperate and get in that box. <laughs> oh goodness. There she is. I should have baked this stuff before I put it in here, but I didn't think about it. Honestly, 65 is not too high for her. Um, it'll fall rapidly fast, so it shouldn't it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm just waiting for that temp to hit its optimal spot. Maybe let the humidity drop a little bit, but I do have to get water in there. Totally forgot about water. While we're waiting for that to level out, we can go ahead and change these Anami's water dish. Up, noms. I know this is the second time in the video you got pulled out. Oh, whoa. All right, go on. Go back in there. I gotta use both hands to get this fucker out. It's a heavy water bowl, guys. Look at her wondering where her water dish is. Oh, you gonna hood up for me? You gonna hood up at me? Your water bowl's changed. I need to clean her glass. I need to clean all the glass. I know I said this before in this video, like twice. 
But I need to clean all the glass. And basically all my tanks. This one's not too bad. That one's pretty bad. Scorpion's pretty bad. Other ball python, not too bad. And this one was just clean. Look, boom, already 56. Just gotta give it some time. She's such a good little stink. Hates me, but a good snake nonetheless. All right, it's 55%. We're at 84 degrees. We're good to go. So, all right guys, what I want to explain about these snakes right here are that they aren't a very warm snake. Okay, I know, like, I have a state that prefers about 100 degrees, hence he's a NAMI. High temperatures, low humidity. He prefers, like, 100, 105-ish kind of temps. He's happy, low humidity. 85 degrees, boom, hot outside. They can fall to, like, 60 at night, 55. Ball pythons, 88 degrees. This guy, I don't know, like, 90 degrees. I forget, I can't remember. Um... The higher the better for these guys, but you don't want to cook them. So scorpions, 90 degrees, 95 degrees. Rat snakes, like at 85. I do let it go up to 90. Um, because you know they don't get a consistent heat in the wild. It's always different, guys. It's always different. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to put you guys down for a second. She almost got away from me. Almost. And she's already enjoying the burrowing. Well, guys, that's about it. I am going to feed her, so if she takes it, you guys will see that bonus footage. Otherwise, hey, please have a beautiful day. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that fucking bell so you can know when we're uploading videos. And please just enjoy your day. Be safe out there. Have a good one.